In this video, we are going to talk about ECFMG verification of credentials. First of all, why do you need to get your credentials verified? The first thing is for ECFMG certification. And second, if you have already graduated from med school while applying for any of the USMLE step examinations. And now, what are the documents required for verification of credentials? The list include final medical diploma, final medical school transcript, and the transcript to document transferred credit if applicable. And all the documents that are not in English should be accompanied by an official English translation as per ECFMG's requirements. And final medical diploma. So the copy of the diploma must be submitted in original language containing the date of issue and signature of the medical school or the university officials. This can be done through the following methods. The first is via My ECFMG mobile app. First what you need to do is download the app for free from the app store when you are using iOS or Google Play if it is Android. Log in with your USMLE or ECFMG ID and password. And now go to Upload Credentials. In Document Selection, choose Final Medical Original Language. Either select the Scan option and scan the document in the app itself or select Pick a PDF to choose from your saved files. Second is by via email. If you are mailing a copy of your final medical diploma, the photocopy must be 216 mm versus 279 mm. And also I have mentioned in terms of inches what you can see on the screen too. And second is name verification. And note an important point here. If the name on your credentials does not match the name in your ECFMJ record, you need to submit acceptable documentation that verifies the name on your credentials is your name, failing which your exam application will be rejected. The name on the documentation and that on your diploma or transcript should be the same. And documents for name verification include any of the following which is listed on the screen. One may be expired passport, including pages with your photograph and the expiration date, birth certificate, marriage certificate or the license, official court order, that is name change documentation if it is there, official immigration document including US resident alien card, US naturalization certificate and permanent resident card and finally the driving license. You can submit any of these documents. If you are unable to submit any of the documents which are mentioned on the screen, then ECFMG also accepts your medical school letter stating that both the name belong to one and the same person with the signature of the authorized official. And all these documents can be uploaded on my ECFMG app in the same way as I have mentioned earlier, that is for the diploma. When ECFMJ requests verification of diploma from your med school, they will ask the school to provide you a transcript. Therefore, contact your medical school personnel regarding fees for verification and the mode of payment. And remember a very important point here that ECFMG will notify you twice. That is once when your diploma has been sent to your med school for verification and second, when ECFMJ receives and evaluates the verification from your med school. You can always check the status of your medical credentials on my ECFMG app. If your verification is taking longer than usual, so please contact ECFMG and follow up with them. So now you can go ahead and get your certification or apply for the step exams. Thank you so much.